Hey guys, how you doing again? Mowers and blowers here on a fall afternoon here in Long Island. As you can see, when we get into the uh, mid-September months, we have tons of trees here in Long Island. And uh, one of the biggest pains in the butts is clearing our lawns, you know? So today, um, I used the truck with my new homemade ramps whatever it was free and I uh, saw this on let go and I know these things go for 250 300 bucks you know it's a little messed up you know it needs uh, a new uh, attachment plastic thingamajig that goes on there that holds the bag up but that's not a big deal we can uh, fabricate something there and uh, you know it's dirty and stuff but it uh, all you could do is you could tell by the wheels. If the wheels aren't very rubbed out, it means it's relatively new. There's no dents or scratches anywhere. It's just really dusty at all, you know? So this is a good machine. I've worked on about three of them. It's called a, a vac chipper, and Craftsman makes it, and Troy Built makes it, and pretty much everybody makes it, you know? This is a Yard Machines Briggs & Stratton engine, uh, 650 series, 6.5 gross pounds of torque 190 cc engine and um, you know yard machines is essentially an MTD MTD is like the mother company they they make all kinds of stuff like uh, yard works yard man um, yard machines you know anything with a yard in it they they make it so uh, yeah pick this up um, talk the guy down from what his original price was which I think was a hundred bucks I, think I got it for 80 and uh, needs to be cleaned up and that needs to be fixed but let me tell you you need this in Long Island because of I just uh, vacuumed all the uh, leaves here but um, I have an acorn tree and uh, it's crazy squirrels they just they knock the acorns all over my yard so I gotta suck this baby up I actually bought this for a friend of mine he needs it but uh, I'm gonna show you how this works <laughs> thing works great. Um, I know it doesn't look like it too much over there, but uh, the grass is wet, you know? So if the grass is wet, it's going to stick to the ground. It's uh, tougher to pick up. Also, since we're on asphalt, you know, concrete, uh, the uh, settings have to be a little bit lower. See, there's a big gap here. So this is uh, basically that height is for a lawn, you know, so it, it picks up the leaves on the lawn pretty well. Uh, but if you wanted to Let's say what I'm going to do is, you know, I've got like this uh, acorn dust and uh, just pummeled acorns all over my uh, driveway. And basically I'll set this setting to the very lowest so that this thing is literally a half an inch off the ground. And that will uh, suck up that acorn residue and dust and acorns really well. Now what this is, is inside it rotates, right? There's actually... Uh, a big apparatus, round apparatus that, that's sharpened blades. And basically this uh, reservoir here, you can take sticks and stuff and shove it in there uh, and chips all the um, branches into little minced chips, you know. So they call this a vac chipper, vacuum chipper. But it's a good machine and, um, you know, I almost hate to give it to my friend, you know. Uh, but I'm not giving it to him. He's going to pay me what I paid for it. Um, and, you know, it's a good machine to have, especially if you live on the, on the uh, East Coast, you know, with uh, a ton of leaves and stuff. So, 
this works good. Um, this just de detaches and there's a uh, Velcro-ish type uh, cla clasp, open and close, and basically just dump all the dust into the garbage. I'll show that to you now. So I had to cut that um, wire that was holding this up, you know, and uh, you take these little straps down. It's kind of heavy right now, so I actually have to lift it a little because it's stuck. But uh, this thing goes out of the way. Got to use two hands, so I can't do it right now here. And it just comes off like that. Okay, so the straps come off like that. And there you go. And so it's pretty heavy. It's got lots of stuff in here. So I'll take it near my garbage can. And this thing opens up like that. And all that stuff is right in there. So I'm going to lift it up and dump it. See, it's all in very fine pieces here. See that? Very fine, minced small pieces there. So it doesn't take up a whole lot of room in the bag. Not like your conventional lawnmower where, you know, there's absolutely, uh, you know, you, you do one run and it's completely full and then you gotta unload it and there are full leaves, you know. Here, it minces the leaves into little tiny pieces. And so that's what's good about it. There's a lot, a lot of uh, surface area that I covered there just with one run, you know, and it wasn't even full. I just did it just to show you, but uh, yeah, it's a good little machine. I'm going to try to fabricate something to uh, let it hook onto that crossbar there, clean it up and uh, give it to my friend. Anyway, so that's a uh, Yard Machines 6.5 horsepower vac chipper. Great for the East Coast, uh, great for picking up leaves and uh, any other crap that's on your lawn that you want to just suck up. Great machine, not many people have one. Uh, worth about 300 350 depending on the condition. This one's pretty good. Uh, see you next time on Mowers and Blowers.